Inside this breeding laboratory run by Malloy College in Suffolk County, the next generation of marine biologists are learning about the long history of horseshoe crabs. They've been on this planet for 445 million years. Dr. John Tanacriti warns their ancient lineage is now threatened by overdevelopment and overharvesting. What we found at Malloy College is that um, about an 8% decrease in, over the years in the numbers of sites that have been supporting breeding horseshoe crabs. Dr. Tanacriti and his young research staff say the loss of horseshoe crab habitats would mean much less food for birds who depend on the millions of horseshoe crab eggs deposited each year in Long Island's coastal waters. And there is a unique quality to a horseshoe crab's blood that protect humans from infection during medical procedures. They have bacteria in their blood that's used to sterilize and test medical equipment. It's why these researchers are happy there will be more state oversight to ensure they're not overfished, a threat that commercial fishermen say is overblown. I know they're not, they're not overfished. We don't fish them at all. It's just the people who uh, go for eels. That's it. Fisherman Frank Squeo says horseshoe crabs are only used as bait to capture eel, a relatively small industry. A spokeswoman for one fishing group goes further, telling CBS2, this legislation is unnecessary and reflects the environmental lobby's power, while labeling it another attempt to eliminate the commercial fishing industry. But researchers like Dr. Tanacredi say the new state legislation will keep the fishing industry honest while protecting one of the planet's oldest living creatures. Now, New York State is also voluntarily agreeing to meet a federal recommendation to reduce the commercial harvesting of horseshoe crabs by 50%.